Welcome back to the Rack Warehouse YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at the T2 Pro XTR hitch mounted platform bike rack from Thule. The T2 Pro XTR can carry two bikes, up to 60 pounds per bike, and an additional two bike add-on can be purchased separately to bring the total to four bikes. The XTR features cradles for the front wheel of the bike and an adjustable arm to secure the front wheel as well. Alongside the arm, a wheel strap secures the rear wheel of the bike to the platform. This rack comes keyed to allow you to lock the rack into your hitch receiver, as well as lock the bikes to the rack with a locking cable integrated into each arm. The XTR can be tilted down with bikes loaded to allow for better access to the rear of your vehicle, and when removed entirely, wheels are permanently installed to assist with moving the rack while off the vehicle. Minor assembly of this rack is required. We find it easiest to install the spine of the rack into your hitch receiver first to keep the bike rack steady. To do this, insert the tongue of the rack into your receiver. A pinhole finder is integrated into the tongue to make sure you find the correct position for the rack. With the rack in place, turn this knob clockwise to tighten the bike rack into your hitch receiver. Once the rack is tight in the receiver, take your keys to lock the knob. This will disable it from being loosened or tightened any further, locking it into your receiver. Now it's time to install the two trays onto the spine of the rack. First locate the inner tray. This one will not have a Thule logo printed on it, and loosely install the mounting hardware to hold it in place. From there, fully tighten down the four bolts to secure the first tray to the spine. Repeat the same process to attach the outermost tray to the spine. These trays can be offset to one side if you anticipate there being interference between your two bikes. Simply loosen the bolts, and slide the tray to your desired position. With both trays installed, it's time to install the front wheel cradles. Set them into place, and for each cradle, tighten these four screws underneath. Slide the rear wheel cradles on next. Then, install the end caps by inserting them into the ends of each tray, and tightening down the screw on the underside of the rack. To complete the assembly, the last step is to install a lock core into each arm. And with that, the T2 Pro XTR is fully installed on your vehicle. When you're ready to load your bikes, pull the handle down to fold the rack out to the loading position. Undo the wheel strap and tuck it aside so that it doesn't snag on your wheel while loading. The position of the rear wheel cradles can be adjusted to accommodate a wide variety of wheel bases. Load your bike onto the platform of the XTR, placing both tires into the cradles. From there, grab the arm and bring it up over the front tire close to the forks of the bike without making contact. Ratchet this arm down until it has a firm grip on the front tire of your bike. Route the rear wheel strap through the spokes of the wheel and into the buckle. Use the ratcheting mechanism on the buckle to tighten the strap. Make sure to center the pad located on the strap to protect the finish of your bike. With that, you're almost ready to hit the road. The last step is to lock up your bikes with the locking cable integrated into each arm. Pull the cable out of its housing and route it around the frame of the bike. Insert the end of the cable into the cutout and locate your keys. Turn the lock cylinders you installed earlier to lock the cable in place, locking your bikes to the rack. When you're all biked out, go ahead and slide the XTR out of your hitch, and wheel it away for another day. This concludes our video on the Thule T2 Pro XTR. If you have any questions about the product, give us a call at 1-800-272-5362, or send us an email to info at rackwarehouse.com.